Hello, my name is Andres Flores. I am husband to Jackie, who is the director of student ministries from grades six all the way to college age and young adults here at Hickson United Methodist Church. Um, as a young adult myself, I volunteer with student ministry and also with the River Worship Service. And something that's been on my heart and mind as of late is this idea of becoming who we are. It's actually an album title for one of my favorite bands. Um, and I think something that applies to all of us, regardless of what state of life we're in, is this idea that we're on a journey to discover our identity. Uh, we're trying to figure out who we are, what we're supposed to be doing, where we're supposed to be. Um, and we're constantly changing and growing and evolving. That never stops at any point in our life. This is the kind of transformation that Jesus promises and that the Bible promises. In fact, in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18, it says this, All of us are looking with unveiled faces at the glory of the Lord as if we were looking in a mirror. We are being transformed into that same image from one degree of glory to the next degree of glory. This comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. So this is actually a reference to something that Moses did with the Israelites. When he would stand in the presence of God and then go before the people, Moses wore a veil over his face to protect the people from the power of God. But this scripture is telling us that looking at God is like looking into a mirror and seeing who we were meant to be all along. Something that the poetry of Genesis reinforces and reminds us is that we're made in God's image. So the spirit of holiness, the spirit of perfection, the spirit of divinity actually dwells inside us and is guiding us to become the people who we are. The thing that God is transforming us into is the people that we were meant to be from the beginning, holy, set apart, and filled with love for each other.